Courage is a virtue. Regardless of situation, courage is a good thing. And courage is not succumbing to fear. It does not mean that you are not afraid. Actually, being afraid or recognizing a fear is to be expected to be associated with courage because courage is not succumbing to that fear. If you are courageous, you should be able to make decisions contrary or without regard to the insistence of the fear. It is a state of being, a state of being that makes you independent of the fear you perceive. Choosing to do what is right, for instance, even though you recognize the harm that could befall you. And cowardice is a vice, which is always a bad thing. A vice, always bad. A coward is dominated by fear, unable to respond righteously due to being fearful. Someone may say, well, it could be good to be a coward. It could preserve your life. However, this is, this is a mistaken thinking. We're not talking about the outcome of the decision or the repercussions. We're talking about the state of being. A coward, paralyzed by fear, is incapable of defending, say, his sister's honor from an <clears throat> unsavory individual. Perhaps the brother's life would be preserved in such a situation, or maybe not. But regardless, his sister's honor was not defended. The outcome is not the question. It is the state of being of the individual during the experience. And as, like with the example, an experience where righteousness or honor could be in question. Look at it this way. Does anyone admire a coward? Cowardice is a weakness of character. Courage is a strength of character. We want our men to be courageous. Don't we despise cowards?